Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best possible Trove mods that you can use to help you out with your gameplay and just, you know, helps you out playing Trove in general. And if you are on console, I do apologize, but if you want to get a mod, it's only going to be on PC. But feel free to stick around because, you know, if you end up getting Trove for PC, you can use some of these mods. And if you do end up making that switch over to PC, which... I do recommend, it's pretty nice playing this game on PC, more people, that's for sure. And not to mention, you know, mods, the whole point of this video. Uh, feel free to check out my referral link for Trove, it is going to be down in the description down below. You can use that and you can get yourself started with an extra character and just nice little perks. And in the background you can just see me farming dungeons and the, the first mod that I want to talk about, and you can probably already see it throughout the video, is when you go through dungeons, there's like a, you know, a giant beam of you know, a color shooting out into the sky. That right there makes the game a lot more enjoyable for me because, like, I, not really enjoyable, it just makes it a lot easier because, like, I know where to go. It makes farming more efficient. And, you know, all these mods help make the game a lot more efficient and you can, you know, play the game a lot more easily, I should say. Like, you can still play the game, like, just fine without all these mods. Like, you don't need a whole bunch of them, you can still play just fine. But I do like these, they help out a ton. And this brings me to my next point where I want to link something in the description down below. It is going to be a list of mods that I highly recommend that you guys use. You don't really have to use them all, you can kind of read through them. I have like most of them downloaded. And I do want to mention that I do use mods for Steam. If you don't use Steam and you want a tutorial on how to get mods using the launcher itself, I will also, you know, I could also provide that uh, to you in the next possible video, but it is up to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that or if you want to know how to install mods in general. So a couple of my favorite mods that I like to use is obviously the orb boss finder, just like you instantly know, like when you go to a dungeon, you know where to go. And if there's world bosses, you'll know where to go. Like it's super nice, super handy, makes dungeon farming so much better in my opinion. And another one of my favorites is symbols chat mod. It makes, you know, typing to other people a lot nicer. You can use emotes. I don't know, it's just really fun to use, I like it. And I also recommend it to you guys if you want to, you know, make your chatting experience a little bit better. But yeah, apart from that, you can just check out the description. I have the link for all these mods. Shoutouts to Kazer for letting me use this link. You can kind of just read through which ones you'd want to use. And if you're signed into Steam, you can just subscribe to it and you can get the mod yourself. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want a tutorial on how to get it just from like you using the Glyph Launcher, if you don't use Steam, uh, I could also provide a tutorial for that if you would like. Another thing I want to mention is if you're downloading mods, make sure to check that they're working because if there's like a yellow exclamation point on them, it might be conflicting with another mod and you're gonna have to look at that, disable one of them or maybe get rid of it. But you know, it's up to you how you want to use it. I also do want to mention that the orb boss finder or just the boss finder one in general, uh, I don't, it's not on the website that's linked down below. Uh, I can show you a quick uh, screenshot of what it looks like and if you guys want to go onto the Steam Workshops page and hopefully that will help you guys out. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be a short little video for you guys if you want to check out some mods for Trove. You honestly don't need to use a whole bunch but uh, I would highly recommend going through the website that's in the description and check out which ones you'd like to use. And then obviously I can show you the screenshot again right here if you want to see what the orb boss finder one is called so you can download that yourself. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and if you want to see anything trove related, let me know down in the comments down below, and you could be responsible for the next video. And on that note, I will see you guys later.